<laughs> I don't even know where to start. Hey you guys, what is up and welcome and or welcome back to the channel. So listen, I know what you're already thinking, like, girl, how you relaunch a channel and then just go ghost. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Baby, grad school is not for the week. And I may just be the week, baby. Y'all, when I tell you grad school drug me by my edges, like, I have no edges, none, zero, zip, zilch, nada, nothing. Because I just, y'all, it was so much. It was so much. And... I don't even know where to start. I'm just gonna talk to you guys about where I've been. And you know, I do wanna apologize because I was really excited to relaunch my channel and I'm not quitting YouTube or anything. I still want to um, document my life and my transition from, you know, undergrad to being a doctor. I think that, you know, it's just gonna be so amazing when I'm a doctor and I can look back and you guys can look back with me and be like, girl, Remember that time in grad school where you was this close to dropping out and burning it down? And then we'll laugh about it, you know? Like, like we'll all laugh together. It'll be fine. But right now, your girl is struggling. So, yeah. I kind of just wanted to tell you guys where I've been. Um, long story short, I've been in grad school. <laughs> I have been busting my ass in this program. Um, I really, really, really want to do well here. And so I've been doing just just a lot of studying, you guys. Please don't get me wrong. I do have some videos that I recorded. I just never found time to edit and upload them and, you know, like do all of the um, descriptions and inserts, all that stuff. I just hadn't found the time to do those. But I am gonna go ahead and do those over this break and upload them. They will be older videos, but like, they're still relevant, so I'm gonna use them. Um, but yeah, like I've been in grad school, so let me just let me just get out a rundown. Let me just tell y'all what had happened. So basically, what had happened? If you've seen my other video, um, I'm gonna link it up above for you guys to check out if you haven't seen it. I kind of showed you guys this giant binder for one of my classes. And I ended up dropping that class. Like, <laughs> and I was really upset. Like, if you know me, I'm not a crier. I cried. It was the hardest thing ever. Like, I've never dropped a class in my entire life. And so that was really, really hard for me. Um, basically, the class was one of my med-level classes. And essentially, the way that he set the class up was we had a midterm and a final, and that's it. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm staying on my P's and Q's, making sure that I'm studying and being diligent, asking questions where I need questions, attending TA sessions where I need that. And then one day he was like, hey, I'm gonna give you guys an optional exam um, just over the lung. I was like, okay, cool. So our TAs decided that they were gonna have a pra practice exam. So of course I went, took the practice, practice exam and I got a 47. I was like, dumb are you fucking dumb what i was like a 47 i was like okay no i'm not gonna take the exam because it doesn't make sense to fail this exam when i can just continue to study continue to master the lung as well as you know learning renal and then when it comes to the midterm i can just ace it and knock it out the park so that's what I decided to do. I did not take the practice exam and I just started studying harder for the midterm. So renal to me uh, was not hard at all. I thought renal was really interesting. It was very easy. It was a lot of memorization, which is something that I'm very good at. So it, it wasn't hard for me. It wasn't a struggle. I kind of got the material down really well and I was really um, comfortable with it. So when the time came to take the midterm, I was, I thought I was okay. Like. I was like, there's no way I'm going to fail this. I think I'm going to do fine. I honestly think I can do well. So went, took the test, 
Test started at 1.30, baby. I left at 4 o'clock, okay? Y'all, that test was not a joke. It was only 50 questions, but it was not playing with me, and I was not playing with it. So left the test at four o'clock. I called my mom, called my grandmother. I was like, you know, I feel really good. It was hard, but I don't feel like I failed. I knew a lot of the material, some things I was able to work out. Like I didn't automatically know it, but I was like, okay, I know this about this and that about that. And that goes with this and this goes with that. Like I was able to kind of put the pieces together. Some things it was just like, nah, I don't, I don't know this. I don't know that at all. <laughs> so I let that go. Um, so then I went home. I was just relaxing in my bed, watching girlfriends, minding my business. One of my friends called me. She's like, girl, what you got on the test? I was like, dang, you know, like, it ain't even been 12 hours. He already posted the grades. My guy not playing. So I was like, girl, I don't know. You know, like, I'm scared. What did you get? My girl told me she got like a 30 something. Y'all, when I tell you, I almost fell through the floor. If I was not sitting down, I would have fell through the floor. I was so scared because she is extremely smart. All of my friends are extremely smart, beautiful women, love them, can't wait to be doctors with them, okay? But sh like, we're all so smart and we also studied together. So I was like, girl, if you got a 30, I got a 30. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I was terrified. Like my heart was just going, baby. So I was like, okay, let me look. So I log into my little account, baby. Type it slow, trying to waste time. I log in, look at the grade. Y'all, I got a 54. So I was really upset. <laughs> and then I went to check my emails. He had emailed us right after he posted the exam grades. He was like, hey, exam grades are up. Um, if you got a 60 or above, I encourage you to stay in the course and continue. If you got something below a 60, I think you should drop it. Come back next year. Try again. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, what about a 60 but like minus six? Because baby, <laughs> what you mean? So I, I literally called everyone. I called all my friends. I called my mom. I called my, like I, I called the guy that was tutoring me. I called everybody. And I'm like, y'all need to tell me what to do because I really don't want to drop this class. Like a 54, it's, it's not, you know, it, it's not the best, but I was, I tried, you know, I tried, baby. So everybody's just like, you know, talk to the professor, talk to the professor. I'm like, okay, but y'all, it's a pandemic. Like this man not doing office hours, whatever. So I emailed him, I was like, hey, um, do you think I could come talk to you about my exam? He was like, yeah, I'll be in the office tomorrow. Just come see me, cool. So I go to his office. I had to stand outside because of the pandemic. Like I couldn't even go in the office, y'all. It was embarrassing. <laughs> but I told him, I was like, hey, this is my grade. Um, what do you think that I should do? He was like, you know, a 54 shows me that you actually know stuff. It's not like you don't know anything. It's not like you weren't studying. You clearly know um, a good bit of the material and understand it. He was like, but I honestly feel like you need to just come back next semester. He was like, I feel like you can come back next semester and knock it out of the park. He was like, I don't want you to drag it out because you have only one exam. So, you know, it's it's a win or lose situation and you can't afford to lose. So he was like, just come back next semester. You have all the material. Go, you know, look through it, study it. Um please continue to ask me questions, but come back next semester. And I honestly feel like you can make a really, really good grade. So I was like, that's not what I wanted to hear, but okay. So I did go ahead and I dropped the class and I was really upset about it because like I said, I've never dropped a class before in my life, but I had to do what I had to do to, you know, live another day. So I dropped the class and I picked up some ADPs or some eight week courses. Um, and that's kind of just what I've been focusing on. I really, really, really wanted to get as high of a GPA as I could with these eight week courses. So, fingers crossed, you know? I'll definitely let you guys know what like my grades were looking like. Um, if you don't follow me on my social medias, you should, cause I always post stuff there about school and that's probably where my grades are gonna be posted at first. But I'm definitely gonna let y'all know too. But you know, yeah, I, I just been really, really, really focused on these classes. Like, 
I want good grades. Oh, and also, also, you, you know what else I did? Do y'all know what else I did? Hold on. I'll be right back. I also got a puppy. Everyone, this is Malia. Malia, this is YouTube. Say hi, mommy. Yeah, she, I, I just woke her up to say hi. So she, she kind of a little out of it. But yeah, guys, I also got a dog because I've been wanting a dog for forever and my mental health was out of whack. I was like, let me, <laughs> let, let me get a stress reliever. And so I got my angel. And yeah, she's like, Molly, how old are you, mommy? You're two months? Yeah, I thought so too. She's two months old. She just turned two months, November the 24th. <laughs> she just turned two months, November the 24th. And, you know, we're having a great time. How tired can you be, sir? You ain't even do nothing. Go to your spot, mommy. Good job, y'all. She's so smart. But yeah, I got a puppy. She's two months. Um, she's learning so fast. We, we, you know, me and her, we, we be having some altercations because she keep peeing on my floor and I'm sick of it. But now that I'm out of school, I have a lot of time to like keep her on a consistent schedule and really train her to, uh, or potty train her. And also, she got an attitude. <laughs> She's so spoiled, y'all. I bought her her own bed. She has like a, a crate for whenever I'm at work, but she's never in the crate, literally not ever. The only time she's in the crate is if I'm at work or she's in trouble. That's literally it. And she's barely in trouble because she's so young. So she's literally never in the crate. She's always like around the house and running around, running amok, acting crazy, having an attitude with me. But yeah, I did get a dog. <laughs> And I'm literally obsessed with her. I'm probably gonna do some videos on here with her because I think that'll be fun. I think you guys would, would love her. I And I need y'all to see the attitude that I'd be talking about because nobody would believe in me when I tell them. They're like, no, she's so cute. She's so tiny. She's such an angel. She listens. No, she has an attitude. She got an attitude, but we're gonna let it go. Well, yeah guys i didn't want this video to be super long or anything but i just wanted to let you guys know that i am back okay for real this time for sure this time i have a lot of fun things a lot of um exciting things coming up a lot of content that i'm about to be putting out and i really hope you guys enjoy it um but yeah that's you know that's really all i came to say was that i'm back y'all already know the drill until next time peace <laughs> I ain't got nothing but time, y'all niggas not on my mind. Hey, I ain't got nothing but time, y'all niggas not on my mind.